I have here a dung beetle that I found dead uh, outside and uh, I want to embed it within uh, resin. Um, I have moisturized the beetle and spread out its legs and uh, pinned it uh, so that it assumes a more lifelike position and now it's ready to be cast within resin. It's looking good. Here I have uh, a layer of resin that I have poured into a silicone mold but the issue is that uh, it doesn't stay uh, stuck to the uh, mold that I've poured because the mold has become hard and slippery. Uh, so I'm going to have to find an alternative way of making it uh, stick to this bottom layer that I've poured so that when I pour the second layer on top uh, it will not float uh, within that layer. Um, so for that purpose I have here uh, super glue or uh, cyanoacrylate uh, glue which usually works very well to stick anything uh, because just a drop of it will you know uh, stick anything uh, pretty fast within seconds it will uh, form a bond uh, and so I added a few drops uh, to the legs of the beetle and here you can see I've actually added too much and that's caused issues uh, in itself but yeah just a drop and then I tried sticking it to the bottom of the uh, resin layer and it was not really sticking but it started sticking everywhere else and uh, the glue actually uh, stuck uh, my tweezers to the tissue I was hoping to clean it with and then I tried to you know position the beetle using the tweezer and it stuck to the tweezer and it was giving all sorts of uh, problems and it overturned and then it's I, I was afraid it was going to stick upside down uh, and so I tried taking it out and it flipped over and fell onto the paper and it stuck to the paper instantly uh, you can see here I tried peeling it off and it peeled the paper off but uh, thankfully it came off cleanly and then I tried picking it up and putting it back in and it was sticking to the tweezer but I managed to get it in uh, position and then I had an idea I thought why not pour a layer uh, of uh, super glue at the bottom of this and let it remain so for uh, some time so that when the glue hardens it will get stuck to the bottom and uh, the glue also will become solid because it is also made out of acrylic. Uh, so I poured the glue uh, to the layer to the bottom and uh, let the beetle sit in the position that I want um, and it seemed to be working. After about 10-20 minutes I came back and you can see it actually worked and the beetle was stuck to the bottom and I was quite happy with the result. Uh, so it wasn't actually very uh, firmly stuck but it was stuck uh, good enough so that I could pour the second layer. Here I am pouring the second layer and when I pour the second layer the need is that uh, it should not float uh, within this layer uh, because that has happened to me previously where uh, I've added uh, this second layer too soon after the first layer and this specimen has just floated to the top and uh, that is why I need to, to stick uh, the beetle to the first layer and then pour the second layer and uh, here uh, you can see that the beetle has not floated so the super glue has managed to hold it down um, although you know after 10 minutes when I, ch I checked previously there was still some super glue liquid at the bottom 
uh, of the first layer. But here I've completely covered the beetle. And uh, when I came back after around 12 hours next morning, you can see that it's worked. Uh, the beetle has set within. And here I'm trying to remove the uh, resin from the silicon mold and you can see that I'm encountering a little bit of difficulty uh, taking it out and as I be began to uh, you know take it out I realized that uh, the super glue had stuck uh, the resin to the mold and uh, that is making it quite hard to remove the uh, resin. You can see in this corner the white bit where the uh, super glue has st uh, you know, stuck the mold to the resin. And uh, as I am pulling it out here, bits of the silicone is coming off and it has completely ruined the mold. You can see um, the silicone has stuck uh, and come off as I have lifted the uh, resin out of the mold. And uh, there is actually a groove uh, inside the mold uh, running right around and this makes the mold useless to use uh, for further projects because it will make it rough. Uh, it'll make the, uh, the cast rough and uneven. So I'm quite gutted about that. And also this particular cast, uh, you know, is ruined because uh, the silicone has uh, stuck to it and formed a layer uh, right around uh, on all sides. You can probably sand it up and recover this, but yeah, it's not ideal. So yeah. Who is uh, thinking of using super glue to stick specimens? Don't do that, it's not a good idea.